this week on Primo's Truth About Hunting. Primo's Turkey Tour starts right now. Part one. This is what I like to do. I mean, do y'all believe what just happened? This hunt ain't over. Walked straight to the decoys. Oh, yeah. Tell you, that was fun. What about Missouri? Man, it'll ruin you. It's like bass fishing, just different lures. <laughs> Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Matthew Solokam, Nikon Optics, The Block Fusion, Cabela's, Stealth 4x4, Rage Broadheads, Boost Series, Hear the Language, Ozonics, The Game Changer, Ripcord Arrow Rests, Black Gold Bowsight, and Primo's Hunting, Speak the Language. Well, it's time to get your box calls, your mouth calls, and all the slates you got. Primo's Turkey Tour starts right now. Part one, we're hitting the Midwest. <laughs> Iowa, Missouri, and Nebraska. We're gonna kick it off in Missouri at Sand Rock Outfitters. It's our first morning, and we've got two turkeys fired up on the other end of this big field. So we got set up, and we asked Drew to back up and start calling, and that's all it took. Here they come. Boy, that was sweet right there. Look at Drew down the road. <laughs> that was an awesome hunt right there, boys. That was great right there, hey. We did it. That's one of my best Missouri hunts right there. Mr. Awesome. Mr. Dwayne, how'd you like that? That was awesome. That was perfect. Man. He's a two year old, I bet. But man, that was fun. Hey, that, that was, was fun. Blast. Thanks, That's what it's all about Drew, right Dwayne. Hey, it thanks pleasure. for being here, man. Man, I love it. I know Kevin just killed a good turkey, but let's just wait a minute. This hunt ain't over. Just as soon as Kevin grabbed his gobble, we heard two more start firing off in the bottom just below us. By the time me and Kevin swapped gun and camera, I got set up, and they were right on top of us.
<laughs> what about Missouri, Mr. Dwayne? Man, it'll ruin you. I've never seen anything like this. That was a fun, fun morning. How'd you like my gun? Is she good for you? <laughs> I think so. I mean, so. you owe me some more shells. <laughs> shot good enough. <laughs> this segment of Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Biologic Seed Blends and Muck Boots. This is what I like to do right there. <laughs> we got to hop on the tractor, turn up some dirt. That's my plate. <laughs> 300 yards. Bird came down off the hill. Man, that was fun. Well, we're headed to Iowa to chase some more turkeys. But first, we got some work to do. We got to hop on the tractors, turn up some dirt, and get ready to plant our food plots for deer season. Well, the first thing we do every spring when we get to Iowa is meet up with our good friend Paul Fountain. Paul's got all the tractors and all the equipment. Well, since Keith Burgess grew up farming in Louisiana, we always put him in charge when it's time to turn up the dirt and laying the seed in the ground. But you know, we're all up here working, planting food plots for deer season, but guess who hadn't made it yet? And he's on his way. Well, Slade and I are on the way to Iowa. And man, I think it was the longest drive of my entire life listening to Slade's music all the way. Kevin and the other guys have been up there a couple of days planting food plots for deer season. I told Meacham he better have my food plots planted, a steak on the grill, and a turkey roosted in a tree when I get there. I'm trying to find Mr. Jimmy a gobbler, so he'll bust him one. As you can tell, the turkeys are gobbling at every call we make. And just like we had planned, they pitch down on our side of the creek. No, that is the gobbler. That's the gobbler right there, too. When this old bird hit the ground, he looked over at Killer B, gobbled at him, and started walking our way. It took him a while to get there, but finally he walked into shotgun range. Teach them to hang up out there, Mr. Jim. Oh, that old mean turkey. <laughs> this is what I like to do right there. <laughs> Woo! All right. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, man, he's heavy, too. That good old beer. It looked like a big old turkey. Uh-huh. Hold it, where's it beer? He's old as he's going to be. <laughs> Whew. He looks so small coming out of that, uh, out of them woods. <laughs> wing, eh? <laughs> Jimmy, congratulations. Thank you, man. This segment of Primo's Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Primo's Truth Cams and Under Armour. And he was coming to kill her beef. Fresh breast straight out of Iowa. Look at the hook on that dude, George. For well, the fun ain't over yet. Part two of the turkey tour. Well, I didn't draw an Iowa turkey tag, but I did get the duties. I had to unload the buggy, Roost a turkey, put Mr. Jimmy at the right spot, do the calling, run the camera. But the one good thing is, you ain't got to have a tag to eat somebody else's turkey. This turkey was donated. I wish I mm -hmm. ate wild turkey. Yeah. This turkey was donated to us by a fellow by the name of Jimmy Primos. Fresh breast, straight out of Iowa farm ground. Jimmy rolled him out. When we stopped by the grocery store, picked up a pile of bacon, some cream cheese, and a ton of jalapeno peppers. Went back to camp and got all the guys assembled together at the table and started putting together all the turkey breasts. Jimmy couldn't wait to get them on the grill. One of my favorite things about traveling with the guys is wherever we go, we always eat good. I know that looks like a tray, but that's my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man, that's good. What do you think Jimmy, that'll taste like for breakfast? Mr. Jimmy killed off gobbler this morning. And donated meat to the cow. Headshot. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jimmy. Yep. You're welcome. Well, it's my turn to hunt now. Jordan's video and Keith sitting with me so we might can pull off a double if it works. Well, we got some turkeys gobbling on the other side of a big hardwood bottom. So we put out She Mobile and the swinging hen and get set up as quick as we can. <laughs> Well, after about 20 minutes of calling to these turkeys, three jakes pop out of nowhere right in front of them. Two jakes right there in front of us. When these three jakes finally leave, Keith has decided to build a blind. <laughs> and about the time he gets done with it, the two turkeys that were gobbling have crossed the bottom and are right on top of them.
I'm telling you, he's got, he's got whites coming out the two top feathers of his fan. Hey, you know what, kid? I didn't see him because of the ground blind. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Look on that dude, George. Joe, hold him up. <laughs> Keep him right there. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Congratulations, Sweet. Oh, yeah. That one turns up. Look at him. That's a stew. Look at that big old beard. Oh, shit. Hey, Keith. He'd be proud. Roasted is roasted, here. son. Yeah, that's right. Hey, look at them whites. Yeah. Hey, oh, that lady. Is that not pretty? That is a beautiful turkey, Slay. I'm telling you. I've always wanted to kill one with that white on there, and I never have, so. You have, man. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> this segment of Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Summit Tree Stand. And tight spot quivers. Walk straight to the decoys. Next week, part two, we're headed in Nebraska. It's like bass fishing, just different lures. <laughs> Slade and Jordan worked to impress my blind building skills on Slade's hunt. So this morning, we elected to pop old double bull up in this cut bean field. We got in here about an hour before daylight, got the blind set up, got the decoys set out. And the first target to show up this morning are these three jakes. As those jakes were leaving, we heard another turkey gobble behind us. And it wasn't but just a minute and he was coming to kill her bee. Well, if you'll notice, we have our little camera set up straight behind Killer B. And it looks like this turkey is fixing to walk right in front of it. see him because the blind had you blocked it. Me and Keith could see that bird. You see the gap down there? Mm -hmm. Probably 300 yards. Bird came down off the hill and just got in a straight walk. Walked straight to the decoys and got out there and started strutting. <laughs> old killer bee. Oh, man. He just sitting out there chilling, minding his own business. His old boy tried to come up here and get him. Well, That's pretty, ain't it? We had that little camera set up right behind killer bee. That thing I walked with then feet. Oh, right he did. He walked right between Killer B and that little camera. <laughs> that was a good yeah. hunt. Hey, you think you want? Hey, it's all right. It's it all right. was good to me, Slay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Enjoyed it. Well, the fun ain't over yet. Next week, part two of the turkey tour. We're headed to Nebraska where they got plenty of tags. That's fine, ain't it, mate? What about that, Kevin? That's unbelievable. That son of a was fired up. Oh, midday gobble. Hey, that's the kind we like. <laughs> that old monster ate something. <laughs> First one with a bow. That was fun right there. That's a good one to start with. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That didn't take long. That's a pretty white one, boy. That was awesome. That's too stuck. <laughs> you shot him first. Man, he jelly headed that joke. 
first Miriam Gobble. Appreciate it, but. <laughs> it's like baskets and just different lures. <laughs> special thanks to old Kirby at Sand Rock Outfitters. And a special thanks to old Polly up in Iowa at Fountain Outfitting. Closed captioning provided by Primo's Double Bull Blinds. Check out Primo's.com for our full line of hunting calls, truth DVDs, and all new products. Theme music for Truth About Hunting performed by Crossin Dixon. Why,